Ang prestiyosong karera ang iyo host ng probinsya ng Bataan ngayong buwan this Sunday. Gaganapin na ang inaugural na Powerman Duathlon Pilipinas sa Balanga. To tell us more about that, kasama natin si Gael Lebeluk, isang Powerman World Champion. Gael, welcome to the, to the score. Thanks for joining us tonight. And welcome to the Thank Philippines you. as well. Sure. All right. Um, first of all, I'll introduce you a bit to our viewers out there. You are an international champion uh, in duathlon. Uh, and you are here for the first time in the Philippines for the inaugural Powerman Duathlon. Tell us first a bit, what is a duathlon? We're all very familiar with triathlon. It's become very popular in the Philippines. But how different is a duathlon? Okay, triathlon, you swim. Mm -hmm. And duathlon, you mm -hmm. change swimming by running. So you right. run, you go on your bike, and then you run again. Okay, so there's still yes. three segments of the race. Yes. But it's, this one is run, bike, and then run. Exactly. Okay, I, I heard that it's a little bit more difficult than triathlon because triathlon, uh, you swim first, and then you bike, then you run. Apparently, the transition of that with the, with the way they're used to their muscles getting warmed up, it's easier. And then when they try duathlon, it's harder to jump straight to the run and then bike and then run again? Uh, yes, I haven't tried triathlon yet, okay. but uh, I believe I spoke with triathletes. Yes. They say when you swim, you use your arms yeah. and upper body, but mm -hmm. When you do duathlon, you use your legs, and then yes. again your legs. So right. it's a bit more difficult maybe for the legs. So yeah. the build of a, the physique of a duathlete is different from a triathlete, could you say? Yes, duathletes have less weight on the upper body, so mm -hmm. less muscles. So okay. Yeah, and um, would you say there are really a lot of uh, uh, athletes out there who are focused just on duathlon and they don't do both the duathlon and the triathlon? Uh, yes, some athletes do only duathlon, but Usually, athletes come to duathlon and mm -hmm. then go to triathlon because it's more famous and right. more prestigious. Okay, maybe. but now, I mean, talking about prestige, with Power right. Man uh, growing in the last mm -hmm. couple of years, in fact, the Philippines is uh, hosting their first Power Man tournament uh, or, or duathlon. Tell us about how the sport of duathlon is growing internationally now. As you said, it started with six yes. uh, countries first. Now they've yes. doubled that. So how, how much more popular has it become? Yes, the Power Man um, brand is... Mm -hmm. the making more events join the brand yeah. so mm -hmm. every year some new events are coming joining and mm -hmm. i believe Powerman philippines will help duathlon and Powerman association mm -hmm. uh, move a step ahead because uh, it's a great organization mm -hmm. the fnf team is doing great job and i believe uh, it will help a lot duathlon yeah now i can imagine it it might be easier for an athlete to say i want to try a multi-sport and maybe duathlon is easier for me especially for those who can't swim or can't swim well yeah. or can't swim long uh, would you say that it's it's a good entry point to multi-sport because of that aspect of those who can't swim well yes yet? i think it's really easier than triathlon because mm -hmm. swimming a lot of people can swim but swim yeah. with uh, 300 other people in the sea, it's yes. really difficult. And My sister maybe does triathlons and she tells me that she gets kicked in the face. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's hard to swim for one. And then you get kicked in the face. So yeah. that's, I'll just stick to the land. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit dangerous. But okay, but when you talk about the power man, boy, I, I was reading up the distances are insane. Um, uh, how long is the actual distance of a power, a full power man uh, duathlon race? Yes, the classic distance, yeah. like on next Sunday in the mm -hmm. Philippines, it's 10 kilometers run, okay. 60 on the bike, and okay. 10 running. Okay. Uh, the World Championships, uh, it's longer, it's 10, 150, uh -huh. and 30. 150? Yeah. That's like... That's ultra distance. Yeah. I'm thinking that's here to Baguio, which is a <laughs> popular summer destination up north, which takes eight hours to drive. But how okay. long does that whole thing take? I mean, 10, 10 kilometer run, yeah. 150 kilometer bike, and yeah. then 30 kilometer run. How long does that whole thing take? Uh, yeah. Yes, the World Championships, I won this year. It yeah. was six hours, 20 minutes. Wow, yeah. fascinating. Okay, how hard is it to prepare? Um, what does it take to prepare for a duathlon? I mean, do you bike six hours a day? Or what do you do to, to get yourself fit? And, and some, some, some athletes, Regardless of sport, they're cautious of training too fast, of peaking too early. So how do you guys prepare at the right time? Okay, it, I think it depends where you come from. I okay. come from cycling. Yeah. For 10 years, I was a cyclist. So okay. maybe uh, I had to push harder on the running to mm -hmm. get better. But okay. uh, I'm not a professional, so I don't train as much as some people. But okay. uh, it's like 15 to 25 hours a week. Okay. And then uh, if you're not really good at training, you have to... Mm -hmm run uh, more than cycling, but mm -hmm. uh, you have to work on cycling, on running, but also yeah. on transi transitions. So okay. usually when you get close to the race, yeah. you do more transition. You go on the bike and directly you go running, yeah. or, or the contrary, go running and go on your bike. Interesting, you said that you came from cycling for 10 yeah. years. Um, I can imagine that's a, a bit of a challenge on your knees. 
because there's more hard impact on running than it is in cycling, right? So how did your body adjust to the to, to adding the, yeah. the running part? Uh, it took a bit of time, like mm. to start with. I, I used to run two, three times a week. Now okay. I can run four, five times a week, mm -hmm. and I believe in the next two or three years I, I'll be able to run seven times a week, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you have to go really gradually, gradually, okay. short distance, uh, smooth mm -hmm. on, the, on the ground, you know, and it it goes. But when you come from cycling, your knees are like new. Okay. Some, yeah. Somebody who uh, was running since he was 10 years old, maybe the knees. It's different. A bit There's a lot more mileage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. wear and tear. Mm -hmm. um, what, how big of a role is, is nutrition and, 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 and feeding your body the right way? Because a triathlete, as you said, is built differently. They can mm -hmm. be strong all over, right? Yeah. But for a duathlete, you have to be lighter up here. How different do you nourish your body compared to other athletes? I think it's the same diet as okay. triathletes. Mm -hmm. You have to bring carbs, yeah. proteins, and fats. Okay. But when you go close to a big objective, uh -huh. when you have to lose maybe one or two kilos, yeah. you maybe uh, skip the dessert <laughs> at the table, but okay. just for a short period. Okay. Afterwards, you have to eat everything that you have to control, but you have to eat right. everything. So it takes a lot of discipline, I can imagine, yeah. right? A lot of discipline. Okay, yeah. now, so you're in the Philippines for the first time. Uh, you came here in June to promote this event as well and to promote the, the run. Uh, the, the duathlon. Uh, tell us about what you've learned, what you've heard about the, the competition here, how, how the multi-sport athletes are looking forward to trying a duathlon mm -hmm. like the Powerman. Okay, the difference uh, between the races in Europe mm -hmm. is uh, I went to see one of the legs of the duathlon, like cup, duathlon cup, okay. uh, and people, if everybody, everybody was racing like with folding bikes, mountain yeah. bikes. Okay. We don't see this in Europe. It uh -huh. is so nice, the best athletes yeah. st at the same, same start line with okay everybody so it was amazing and I think the FNF team is st starting to do a thing where everybody can compete mm -hmm. so you've got you, you haven't got time to train but still come come to Philippines come to the power man okay. and we all be sharing the same passion so great and um, well this uh, hopefully this won't be the last of course of power man to, for the duathlon to be in the Philippines do you see more foreigners like you eventually coming to the Philippines and competing in the power man duathlon here yes uh, this year the Six or seven uh, international athletes. Great. Okay. Uh, one of the French guy, Benoit Nicolas and okay. Rob Vostenbanks, who are two like legends of duathlon. Okay. Uh, I started because of them, so I will compete with them. So they are your idols. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> in the same team as them in France. We are in the same team, but yeah, I learned a lot uh, ah. with them, and uh, now maybe I'm ten, year, ten years younger than uh -huh. them. But so uh, now you beat them. I don't know. It will be, be too it will be close. <laughs> it will be close. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, can you give us a little bit of uh, details or information about the race? Are you familiar uh, what's happening, what time and where uh, it's specifically going to be? Uh, yes, weekend? the race is in Balanga, Batan. Yep. Okay. Uh, starts at 6 a.m. But mm -hmm. there are some other races on Sunday. That's on Saturday. Right. On Saturday. Uh, for kids but the big one is on Sunday. The big one is on Sunday. So it's a whole weekend that they can come and yeah. enjoy and, and watch and yeah. see what Duathlon is all about. Everybody must come and see the... The right. race. And it's a beautiful place to go to. Yeah. So, Gael, thank you so much for joining us. All the best and have a great race. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you very much.